it is time. For our next song, we have a fan uh, request that's just for you. Uh, and this is from Joel Cummins, the keyboard player for Humphreys hey! McGee. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, uh, Joel has a message for you. He said that he picked this song for a few reasons. First and foremost, he said that you've been a great friend to him over the years, and he's grateful for all the notes, tones, advice, and jokes. And secondly, listen to the way the ladies react when he starts this song. Aaron, that will never happen for us. <laughs> he said the single long chorus is one of my favorite live moments captured on tape. Holy crap. Everyone who attended the show can sing their asses off. And the show now has a choir to add to the band. And finally, I hope Aaron can learn a few things from Donnie's whirly playing. The entire Ooh. live album is such a joy. I have it on vinyl. Are you familiar with uh, Donnie Hathaway? I know I'm not. Of course. Yeah, um, like famous, uh, a famous version of Jealous Guy, a really, really incredible oh, cool. version of Jealous Guy. Um, the John Lennon. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. um, definitely. Let, let's let's listen to this, and then let's talk about some Donny Hathaway, and definitely Donny Hathaway, Wurlitzer. Let's take a listen. All right, mm -hmm. let's jump right in. <laughs> Mm. A little tune I had the pleasure of recording with this Roberta Flack. You got a friend, y'all. Sounds great, even from 1971. down and trouble and you need some love and care it. and nothing nothing is going right man I love the awesome. regular the regular other version of the song the real version the regular version of the song this is great think of me. original version this is wonderful and so So 
How great would have been yeah. that yeah. show, man? Yeah, that I didn't know great. where to stop that because it's like I didn't want to <laughs> cut into that greatness. You I, I, I think yeah. about that a lot, like those iconic live performances in like small, you know, in small rooms, mm-hmm. right? Um, uh, oh God. Anyway, go yeah, on. Yeah, Snarky Puppy never- does that too, you know? Like, uh, you ever watch one of those Snarky Puppy videos where it's like, you know, you have like 24 musicians crammed into this tiny room with, you know, a handful of people all listening on headphones? Right. But that's deliberate, right? I'm talking oh, yeah. about those like iconic performances of like, you know, I don't know, Cannonball Adderley's like Mercy, mm-hmm. Mercy, Mercy or right. something, you know? And he's like giving this like soliloquy, um, you know, sometimes like mm-hmm. life presents you with adversity, you know, <laughs> yeah. and, like Joe mm-hmm. Zawadal mm-hmm. in the background, like, you know, bringing it in. Oh, this yeah. song, you know, is about when life gives you adversity. Anyway. Um, his preaching was incredible, but the band's kind of like backing him, and you hear the the crowd, you know. But there can't be more than a, a hundred people tops, you yeah. know. Probably like six sixty five, mm-hmm. you know. And these are like the iconic recordings. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah so, I totally agree. That's you a know? powerful shit. And it's the only so one cool I the, go on, EJ. The only person that I like, if you want to, for like a more recent. Uh, thing kind of in the in the nineties was like Jeff Bucky at like the when he just played acoustic at these small places in New York and was recorded because it's like one of those people you know that was kind of coming he became popular more after uh, his his death right so there's all these things are like Nick Drake if you ever listen to Nick Drake there's some Nick Drake stuff that's uh, a lot of a like lot of shit. yeah I mean Nick Drake definitely is the I think of the, the the best example of uh, yeah. Um, a posthumous legacy right you know? and so but and you listen to those recordings and you're just like wow just like that would have been amazing but like this this kind of stuff i totally get it like i, I you know there's like miles davis concerts there's like you know you want to go back to all the jazz greats there's tons of those concerts where it was like sure, small sure. audiences yeah. um yeah. which yeah. Uh, i couldn't am- imagine i mean you know and then you know back then it's like they were popular but were they they it, we're looking back at it and it's not like if you were there like you went out on a friday night i happened to see miles davis or you know, it's like all those people were playing kind of in the same circuit you know um and so they a lot of people got to see him like uh, my my girlfriend's father saw a lot of the greats like that you know like in in dc when they came through dc um, Louis Armstrong, everybody, you know. I saw Miles just... Davis in concert. Oh, nice! That's a, that's a that's a big feather that I have in my Where at? in my ha- yeah, the Academy of Music here in wow. Philadelphia. Yeah, and my my dad took me, and it was definitely like uh, you know indelible part of my memories of seeing concerts that have you know. Th- there's been just a handful of concerts that I've attended that have been you know life changing. Mm-hmm. I guess more oh, yeah. than a handful, many handfuls, many handfuls. <laughs> that have been life changing, <laughs> um, but that was was one of them. Yeah, so cool. Uh, thanks for sharing that, and uh, we also want to thank Joel for that great suggestion. Yeah. Also, can I would like to thank Joel for that suggestion? That that <laughs> Joel, what a great great suggestion yeah. of a song. Yeah. And seriously, I love Joel Cummins. I do. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you a question real quick. If, if do you know this album pretty well, the Never Never My Love, the anthology? Is it mostly live? I'm just curious. Yeah, this this from this album? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because it says this is live at the Bitter End in right. New York City, which I guess the Bitter End was a venue. A venue, yeah. <laughs> That's a nice name. Clearly, <laughs> That's pretty cool, <laughs> actually. Yeah. Um, I would love to hear more of this because I, I I really did not yeah. know are much not about Donnie. Don, are you not familiar with Donnie Hathaway? I am not, believe it or not. I'm not. Mm, not it was at all. So, um, yeah, uh, uh, The Ghetto, I think, is a, a famous Donnie Hathaway song. But the jealous guy, Donnie Hathaway, is, is you know, prime. Oh, I'm going to look that up. It's one of my favorite shit. songs. Yeah. Yep. yep. Very good. Great song. Hi, this is Mike with Galaxy Jams Reacts. We hope that you enjoyed that React video. Be sure to check out the links below of when we're going to be live streaming our next show and also how to watch full episodes. Please hit that subscribe button. Every single one helps.